Hello everybody. Can you believe it's already the month of September? Everybody is back at school during doing learning from home right now. And before you know it, fall will be here with cooler weather, pumpkins, and all my favorite colors. Well, we're here at the Treehouse, our children's ministry here at CCTO, where each week we come together to learn no more about how having a personal relationship with Jesus changes everything. Today, we're going to start off by going straight to our game because our game is going to be a clue to what we're going to be learning about during the month of September. So, let's get to it. Our game is pretty simple. I'm going to show you some well-known characters and I want you to match them up so that they are in the correct pair. Let's go ahead and take a look at our characters. All right, you've got one minute to find the pairs. Ready? Go. All right, let's reveal our pairs. Great job, everyone. All right, so you figured out the matchups. Now, can you figure out what we're going to be learning about this month? Take a look at our pairs again. What do you notice? They're all friends. And that's what we're going to be talking about throughout September. Everyone wants to have, a good, have good friendships and wants to be a good friend. But sometimes we might not be the best at showing it. Sometimes we might have to stop and think about putting others before ourselves. God can help us choose to be good friends to others. And he can help us choose to surround ourselves with friends who help us grow closer to him. So this month, we're going to discover that friendship is using your words and your actions to show others you care. God certainly thinks friendship is important. He made us to have good relationships with each other. It's really important for us to learn how to be a good friend and for us to have friends around us who encourage us and point us in the right direction. There are some verses in the Bible that show us how important friendship is. And we can find them in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. And these verses show us why friendship is so important. Since we're talking about friendship, I have some people who are good friends here to help us understand why friendship is so important. So say hello to Kylie and Corey. Let's break this down and look at each verse one at a time. Ecclesiastes 4.9 says, Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Let's get a picture of what this means. Verse 9 kind of looks like this. Let's say Kylie has to keep all three of these balloons up in the air. She can't let any of them touch the ground. It's really hard to do that all by herself. But what happens when her friend Corey comes in to help? Let's see. What a difference having a friend makes. Having a friend makes it easier to get stuff done and reminds us that we don't have to tackle hard things on our own. Let's look at the next verse, verse 10. It says, suppose either person falls down, then the one can help the other one up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up. 
then feel sorry for that person. Let me show you what this means. Kylie and Corey, I want you to sit down with your feet flat on the floor. You guys at home can do this too. What I want you to do is put your hands in front of you and try to stand up without using your hands. That's way too hard. And that's what this verse is saying. When we fall and don't have someone to help us stand up, that's sad. But when you have a friend, you have someone to help you up when you fall. Just watch. Kylie and Corey sit back to back. Link your arms and now stand up. Friends look for chances to help each other all the time. They help each other do hard things. Cheer each other up. When they're sad, they take care of each other. Let's take a look at verse 12. One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. A rope made of three cords isn't easily broken. Hmm, a rope made up of three cords. What does that mean? Well, rope is made of three different strands that are tightly tied together. One strand by itself wouldn't be very strong at all. Watch. It's not too hard to break just one strand of yarn. With two strands woven together, it's stronger. And with three strands, even stronger still. Just look. Friendship is like that too. We're much stronger with good friends around us than we would be on our own. And you know what? A lot of people think there's another idea here about the rope with three cords. Your friendship is strongest when it's between you, your friend, and God. Friends trust God together. The thing that really make a friendship Strong is when you and your friend trust God. That way you can remind each other that God is with you, that God loves you, and that you can stand up to any challenge with God by your side. You can pray with your friend and know that your friend is praying for you too. There's nothing better than a friendship where both of you are following God. It's super important for us to have strong friendships. We should try to be friends with everyone, and we should love and care for all people and treat everyone the way that we want to be treated. It's also important to have friends, especially the friends who are closest to us, the ones we spend the most time with, the ones we really listen to, who help us trust God, who help us know Jesus. You know that someone will have a strong friendship with you if they have a strong friendship with God. Just like what we saw in this chord I made. It's important to have friends who help you and encourage you to do your best and to be your best. It's important for you to have friends who will always have your back and who most importantly, friends who will help you trust God. And that's what I want you to remember today. Friends help each other trust God. Friendships are important, and knowing how to be a good friend will help you have strong relationships. It's not easy and it takes a lot of listening and lots of practice. But the good news is, is that we do have a perfect example of a true friend. No one has ever been a better friend than Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he showed us just how much he loves us. And it doesn't stop there. Jesus is always with us. Our friendship should always point us back to him. So when it comes to your friends, do you help each other out? Do you stick up for each other? Do you point each other to Jesus? Do you help each other trust God? Those are all things that make a good friend. And remember, one of the best ways to find a good friend is to be a good friend. So if your friend is having a bad day, take time to ask what's wrong and really listen to them. 
If you know your friend feels overwhelmed with remote learning and this new way of doing school, ask what you can do to help. If your friend is stressed out about something at home, ask if you can pray about it together. A lot of us have had to be away from our friends earlier this year because of coronavirus. And that has been really hard. And I know many of you still found new and creative ways to spend time with your friends, like on the phone or through video chats or the drive-by birthday celebrations or having social distance lunch on your driveway. That's awesome. And let's keep that up and continue to help and support each other when times are hard. We can remind each other to keep trusting God too. I want to share with you our memory verse for the month of September. A verse to treasure and to keep in your heart when you think about friendship. We find this verse in the book of Proverbs in chapter 17, verse 17. And here's what it says. A friend loves at all times. There are, they are there to help when trouble comes. It's important to show love to our friends through our words and our actions. We can be there to help each other when things get tough. So let's pray and ask God to help us be a good friend. God, thank you for showing us what a good friendship is all about. I pray as we go into our week that we can be a good friend. Please help us to have people in our lives who love you. Please help us to have friends around us that help point us to Jesus and to help us trust in you. And please help us to be that kind of friend too. We love you and we pray these things in your son's name, amen. Before we close out for the day, I wanted to leave you with a little something that you can be doing at home to remember what we learned about today. And this month, I thought it would be super important to spend time praying over our friendships and praying about the ways that we can be a good friend. So for the month of September, I'm going to give you a few ideas of ways we can be praying over our relationships. So for this week, I want you all to draw a person. You can make it as simple as a stick figure or use your creativity to make it as detailed as you want. Make sure that person has a mouth, ears, hands, and arms. As you're drawing your person, think about what a good friend does with their mouth. For example, a good friend might encourage others, cheer someone up, use kind words, smiles. Then think about what a good friend does with their ears, their hands, and their arms. When you're done, take some time to pray to God. Look at your drawing as you pray asking God to help you use your mouth, your ears, your hands, and your arms to show what a good friend is and to be a good friend that helps others trust in him. All right, have a wonderful week, everyone, and I will see you next time.